Welcome back to Mini Makes. My name is Callie, and today we are going to be making the ultimate gluten free chocolate chip cookies. So, this YouTube channel is by no means a solely gluten free channel. However, I love to share just any and all recipes that I love that I'm confident you will love as well, and this recipe is one of them. So, these cookies are going to just be absolutely amazing. They're going to be soft and chewy, they're going to have the best texture, and I promise you're not even going to know that they're gluten free. So, let's get right into it. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share chat in the comment section and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So these are the ingredients that we're going to be using. I have some brown sugar, granulated sugar. Here I have um, some dark chocolate. So what I like to do, this is optional, highly recommended, is to get a bar of dark chocolate and just kind of slice it up roughly. And what you'll get is some bigger pieces like this and some smaller pieces. And what this is going to add to the cookies is just even more chocolatiness. And you're going to get some bigger pieces than what you would get from like chocolate chips. Um, and it's just really beautiful. And I love doing it this way. However, you could use any kind of chocolate that you like. I also have some vanilla, instant coffee or espresso powder, just a touch of cinnamon, salt, melted butter. I have some uh, gluten-free all-purpose flour, some cornstarch, baking powder, an egg, and an egg yolk. And that is it. So let's get right into it. First things first, we're going to take all of our dry ingredients. Um, so that includes our cornstarch, our baking powder, our salt, um, our instant coffee, espresso powder, and of course our um, gluten-free flour, which by the way, the gluten-free flour you should be able to find at most grocery stores. And um, the cornstarch, the reason why I'm adding that in is it's going to act a little bit as a binder um, in this recipe with all of the ingredients. So because we're not using all-purpose flour, which has the gluten, which acts as a binder, this cornstarch is really going to help us out. Oh, whoopsies, I forgot to add the salt. I'm gonna add the salt, of course. So, add that in, voila. Give it a quick mix. Okay, perfect. So, next, I'm gonna switch over to my wet ingredients, which of course includes both types of sugar. And to this, I'm gonna add in my melted butter. I love adding melted butter into most cookie recipes. Um, because, primarily because it's going to lend to a much more chewy texture than what you would get from like butter softened at room temperature. And let's be honest, who remembers to soften their butter at room temperature? I, I know sometimes you have to in some recipes, but I always forget. So <laughs> it's also a little bit more convenient. So, okay, I'm just gonna give this a stir until it's looking nice and smooth. Okay. Wonderful. So now I'm gonna add my egg along with my egg yolk and the additional like, egg yolk is just gonna add even more richness. And again, it's gonna lend to that chewy texture that I love in a cookie. Um, I don't know how you wouldn't love it in a cookie, but um, that's the reason why we're adding that. So I'm gonna give this a stir like so. And so next I'm gonna throw in my vanilla. I like using quite a bit of vanilla in this recipe. Um, Give this a stir. Perfect. So next up, I'm going to throw in all my dry ingredients. And again, give it a stir. How many times can I say that? Okay, this looks wonderful. So next, I'm going to throw in my dark chocolate chips. And I'm going to reserve just a few um, of the dark, dark chocolate chips to add to the top of the cookies before they go into the oven, which is optional. But it just kind of adds to the aesthetic of the cookie. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And next up, what we're gonna do is the hardest step of all, which is we're going to cover this and put this in the refrigerator for about an hour. Again, obviously not very hard, but if you don't have a lot of patience like me, <laughs> the waiting can be difficult. But the reason why we're doing that is because once we refrigerate this dough, it's really gonna add to the texture of these cookies and it's gonna kinda help them puff up a little bit more in the oven when they bake. Okay, so an hour later and my dough is nice and chilled and I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just using an ice cream scoop, but you could do this by hand, it's just a, whatever you like to do. I'm just gonna line some dollops of the batter over the parchment paper and this is where I just reserved um, the chocolate for. I'm just going to kind of scatter some chunks over 
the top of the cookies like so. Again, this is optional. When it bakes, it does end up looking really pretty, and I'm not gonna lie, I do have to take pictures for Instagram. <laughs> so that's partly why I'm doing this, but it does add even more chocolate, which is nice. So I'm gonna continue doing this, I'm lining up this uh, parchment paper with dough, and then I'm gonna pop the cookies dough into the oven for about, I would say nine or 10 minutes. The key to like the perfect, like slightly crispy on the outside, but really soft and chewy on the interior cookie is to under bake the cookies. And the reason for that is because once the cookies come out of the oven, the residual heat will continue to bake the cookie, and it's just gonna get these cookies to just the perfect texture once they have some time to set outside of the oven. So again, bake them for about nine, 10 minutes, and once these are finished baking, I'm gonna give you a close-up of just how absolutely amazing these cookies really are. later and you get these beautiful cookies that are slightly crispy in the exterior, soft in the interior, and they're just absolutely amazing. And they taste exactly like a traditional chocolate chip cookie. I promise you, anyone who eats these won't even know they're gluten-free. They're absolutely amazing, and I can't wait for you to make these at home. So, as always, for the full written recipe and instructions, head to my blog, makes.com. I'll put the link for that in the description box below. Click on the link, the recipe will come right up, and make these gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. I promise you're gonna love them, and let me know what you think, because I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.